Well, maple syrup can make pancakes or waffles taste fabulous, but who says you should stop there? This morning, mm -hmm. Chef Ina Pinkney, owner of Ina's Restaurant, joins us. She shows us how to use maple syrup in so many different ways, and it's been a long time, it seems like. It has. I feel like I'm back in my own kitchen when I'm with you here. That's perfect. <laughs> this is great That's for me. That's how we want you to film, Miss Ina. You okay. know, when I, when I come on, it's always about introducing you to something new and educating you about all kinds of new nutritional things. And entertaining you with what I'm going to cook for you today. I love and I it. chose maple syrup because we're coming into maple syrup time. Okay. And while about 85% of the maple syrup comes from Canada and we love Canada, we also have to remember that we have some Wisconsin and Southern Illinois and Indiana as well. Okay, so, so some local syrups. Local syrup. And you know your farmer, you know how we are. Know your farmer, know your food. So we use Tim Burton from Southern Indiana and then we use the Crea from Wisconsin, and we use all of Quebec. So we try really hard to buy from everywhere. Because just like wine, where the tree grows has a lot to do with the taste of the maple syrup. So they all have a distinct flavor? Very distinct. And if you tap a tree at the beginning of the season, it's going to be over there. Okay, it's going to be um, lighter. And if you tap it at the end of the season, it's going to be darker and richer. So what I've done here is now I have made you some Brussels sprouts, which I know are your favorite. I love and I Brussels just sprouts. roasted them in the oven with some olive oil. And then I mixed them with some maple syrup and some bacon. And if you want children to eat vegetables, do this with all the vegetables. Yep. This doesn't add a sugary. It adds that taste that you're not sure of. Like when you eat barbecue, you can't describe the flavor. Right. That's what this does as well. All right. So you're going to love that. I'm looking forward to trying that one. And you get to fabulous. do it. Then I made a marinade. Here it is. You okay, can pour so it on goodness. the chicken wings. This will be good for Super Bowl when the Bears win today. Are you going to be watching the game or are you I'm working, working, my dear? I'm working. You're working. Okay, so what's in this marinade? So soy sauce and a ginger and a little bit of dry mustard and garlic and maple syrup. And I would leave it in and marinate it for four hours. Four hours. Four hours. Okay. You don't want it to go too far. And then if you bring over the plate, oh, yeah. we have these beautiful chicken wings. Why buy them from outside when you can make them at home and nutritious and delicious? I, I want to try one of those. Lots of minerals in maple syrup. Lots of minerals. Now I have this beautiful piece of salmon over here. Okay. And what I've done is just rubbed it with some You've olive oil. I have. I got here really recipes. early. <laughs> I love this. All kinds of different maple-related recipes. Okay. So, olive oil garlic we're going to put you grind some pepper on there perfect like that and pour some maple syrup on it a little bit of maple syrup drizzle it on because i know you have to work okay just a little just bit a what little do you mean bit? by a little well, bit you a do. tablespoon there you go isn't that that's enough perfect that's enough. okay that's perfect and put it in the oven you know how people are afraid to cook fish right just put it in the oven for 14 minutes and look what we have and that's how it comes out. And that's how it comes out. Now look at the difference in the maple syrups. Look at the front. This is from the early season tapping. Right. And this is the medium. And this is the dark at the end of the season from our friend Tim Burton. All right. Very nice. Isn't it Ina? lovely? Yeah. What else do you have up your sleeve oh, these days? I want to show you that. What's this? If you take maple syrup and you beat it and beat it and beat it, what do you come up with? Maple butter. Really? I know, right. So how do you can people make this? No, at home? you really can't. You need a mixer that's seriously heavy duty because of the viscosity. It gets very, very thick. Right. And I want you to just. So do you have folks put this on toast? Yes. Oh, at your restaurant. On pancakes? Yes. Oh, very Come in nice. all week. We're going to be featuring it all week, and so you'll be able to have it for nothing. All the maple sugars. Look at the beautiful sugars over there. I was and wondering. Those actually look like nuts. Those are maple sugars. All maple sugar. So what do you use those for? Um, you can sprinkle it on anything, and I. I have some flakes over there, which I put on fish as well and broil it. Okay, That's all good. kinds of different... Uh, but I just want you to see the difference. Every one of these things is 100% pure maple syrup. I want you to read what's in some of the things we call pancake syrup. Oh, there's a difference between uh, the two. Oh, yeah. It's all synthetic. The stuff we're used to is synthetic, but look yeah, at Yeah, you're going to have me read some of these. It's yeah. like sodium benzoate. I'm not sure what even that is. Cellulose or. gum. That's so, oh, High fructose corn syrup is the first thing in there. Right. Artificial flavorings. And you're, you, you definitely don't like that. No, you like. know how I feel about natural and synthetic. Yeah. This is all natural. All right. Do you have any of these items on your menu? Um, I will have the um, Brussels sprouts this week, and uh, the, the recipes are all on your website today. Perfect. Thank, Thank you, Miss Ina. Look Thank forward you. to giving this a try, too. Now, Thank Ina's you. is located at 1235 West Randolph Street here in Chicago in the West, uh, West Loop. Loop area. West Loop. Mm -hmm. And we posted a link to the restaurant's website as well. Mm -hmm. On our website, as Ina just mentioned, that's abc7chicago.com. 
We've also posted Ina's recipes, like she said, on our website. And we're so going to click on we're, see it on TV. And we're going to link to do more with maple.com because fabulous recipes there.